if you find that your data is still in a little bit too much detail you can actually group based on the row labels so for example here I've got voicemail then cell C and MTN and Vodacom are cell phone operators and this is a fixed line operator so perhaps we want to do a few reports we want to combine these three into a single grouping now you could go to the underlying database and set it up but let's say you don't have time or you can't access the database you can actually create this group within the pivot table and it's as simple as if they're next to each other you could highlight them together or if they slightly they're not adjacent I'm going to hold my control key down and I've identified the three items that must be grouped I right click on it and I click group what you'll notice is that immediately there's a new column it's created a grouping called group 1 which highlights those three and then whatever's left in that particular field is shown separately we can change this name all we do is we simply write over it and Excel will remember it you'll notice down here in your field list you've now got a new item called destination network 2 and in your table layout you'll see both are shown the nice thing about this is Excel has now recognized that these three items are also a grouping called cell operators so I could get rid of the original destination network and all we left with now is cell operators and then the fixed line and voicemail if we wanted to we could group these as well so let's just highlight them group and this time I'm going to call them other and these options are now available to me anywhere in this pivot so I can pull it up here and you'll see I can now report based on those groupings so you'll see that is fully available to you and it remembers what you called it to remove it it's as simple as you right click and you say ungroup and it'll go back to the original settings.